So, you are the one Joel has sent to help me, yes? Uh, my name is Hans Liebold. For 30 years I designed and built performance vehicles in Germany, but I have come to the festival to pursue a more exciting vocation, insurance. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm trying to put you at your ease. It seems I have failed. <laughs> no matter. <laughs> Let us begin. Now, the claimant in our first case poses an interesting question around acceleration and downforce. Now, if you would kindly take this Volkswagen Type 2 and attempt to make it take off. I assure you, this is uh, theoretically possible, given sufficient speed. I have set your navigation. It appears I have forgotten to close the roads to traffic. But we must reproduce conditions as closely as possible, yes? And so the claim is disproved. The Volkswagen Type 2 cannot fly. But to be truthful, I am not surprised by the results of this experiment. But you will learn I am nothing if not thorough. Hello! I'm pleased to see you again. Not merely for professional purposes, but also because of our developing social connection. Now, this is a BMW Isetta. For its size, it is deceptively powerful and also uh, highly maneuverable. Though I think perhaps not so maneuverable for the claimant who delivered theirs into the back of a furniture truck. So, if you would please test the eyesetter's ability to navigate traffic whilst avoiding collisions. For the experiment and for your own safety, of course.
And so the claim is disproved. With sufficient driver applications, the BMW Isetta may navigate even dense traffic. I will inform the claimant that they must simply try harder. Our next case involves an outlandish claim and a vehicle with something of a reputation here in Britain, which I believe to be undeserved. You know this, the Reliant Supervan. With some small stability enhancements, this design, in my opinion, is quite sound. You will proceed, please, to Bamborough Castle, where we will attempt a small and highly scientific jump. Ah, you see? My enhancements greatly improve stability with no detriment to the look of the car. If anything, a small improvement, I think. Good, good. Now, to recreate the conditions of the accident, which resulted in a claim for damages to a church roof. You see, the fiberglass construction makes the Reliance Supervan light enough to become airborne. It lacks, I think, in aerodynamics and engine power. For this next test, I have compensated, perhaps overcompensated. <laughs> we shall see. Hmm. It occurs to me that I have added no additional safety features, but at least you will be landing on sand. I mean, of course it worked. And so we see that it is entirely possible to deposit a Reliant Superfan in the belfry of a country church. I will contact the claimant and pass on the good news. Well, the results anyway. Do you know that in my spare time I am an avid watcher of films? Oh yes, one of my favorite films sees young people having personal revelations whilst racing classic cars. See if you can tell what it is. Now, one of my claimants has apparently tried to recreate scenes of the film, which features a Morris Minor similar to this one, with limited success. They will require city conditions on uh, traffic lights. So, Edinburgh, if you please.
Edinburgh is not so much like the California of the film, but perhaps we can use our imaginations. Well done, you have achieved the optimal result for the first part of our test, which is, uh, I'm not so sure, this is a uniquely American word, but uh, cruising, I think, yes? Now we must test the drag race performance of the Morris Minor with a few small engine modifications of my own. This is not strictly reproducing conditions of the film, but nor is the speed trap we are borrowing from the Horizon Festival. Now, straight line speed is our object. If it helps, you may imagine you are racing against an impossibly handsome actor. Excellent. I will advise the claimant that they may be confident lining up against an Austin Healy Sprite, as in the film. Once that Morris Minor returns from the crash repairer, of course. <laughs> <laughs> 